There are going to be two lines, the long line and the short line. I want to be in the short line. So said Denzel Washington in a recent interview with the New York Times. Having followed Denzel's life for decades, I have always been impressed by his life story. You can find a link to my 2016 essay about Denzel's life and work at the end of this Truth in Two. In this most recent interview at the end of 2021, Denzel sounds as if he is a preacher in the pulpit. Quote, the enemy is the inner me. The Bible says in the last days we'll be lovers of ourselves. And then he adds, what is the long or short term effect of too much information? It's going fast and it can be manipulated in a myriad of ways and people are being led like sheep to the slaughter, end quote. It is here that Denzel says he wants to be in the short line. Denzel Washington has played iconic Academy Award winning roles. Now he wants to direct more, as in his latest work, A Journal for Jordan, a story of love and loss about heroes and sacrifice. According to the Times article, Denzel has promised his 97-year-old grandmother that he would, quote, attempt to honor her and God by living the rest of my days in a way that would make her proud. So that's what I'm trying to do, end quote. His grandmother's influence is evident when Denzel says, quote, this is spiritual warfare. I'm not looking at it from an earthly perspective. If you don't have a spiritual anchor, you'll be easily blown by the wind and be led to depression, end quote. Follow Denzel Washington's work and interviews. He is keeping that promise to his grandma. He is bringing God's light to Hollywood. For Truth and Two, this is Dr. Mark Echol, president of the Comenius Institute, personally wanting to be more in the short line with Denzel.